Congressman Frank Pallone, a veteran Democrat representing a Jersey Shore district of mostly Monmouth County. And Congressman, to be honest about it, last time you were in the news was earlier this week, seems like a year ago. Uh, your request that uh, sports betting sites like FanDuel be looked into, perhaps referred to the FTC. Well, here we are looking at a House of Representatives without a clear front runner for Speaker of the House, controlled by the other party. What do you make of just what just went down in the GOP caucus today? Well, it's good to see you, Brian. I, I think it's just very unfortunate, and it's indicative of the fact that, you know, with this chaos, that the Republican majority in the House just can't run the government. I mean, as, as Chris said, uh, we have very important business to do here, you know, whether it's, you know, investing in the, in the economy and jobs and infrastructure. And instead, we just, you know, we're, we're, the Republicans are embroiled in this race where they can't even seem to pick a leader. Uh, I mean, I would, I would argue with you that because the, the right wing, the Tea Party element, whatever you want to call them, just keeps insisting that the, uh, the new speaker, you know, vote their way, and that means more government shut down, more inability to govern, that they're just, you know, holding the day here. And uh, it's very unfortunate because what we should be doing is Democrats and Republicans should be getting together, working on important legislation, you know, getting the government running again and making sure that uh, we create jobs and grow the economy. And none of that is going to happen uh, likely with any of these Republican choices that, that keep being mentioned for speaker. When you take the train north and go home to your home district in Jersey, or what are you hearing from people about your job, about uh, uh, our elected officials in general? Well, they don't have a lot of faith in us because they see this chaos and they figure that, you know, we're not working to accomplish goals that are important to them. People still talk to me about jobs. You know, a lot of people say they're unemployed or they're not making enough money. They're worried about making ends meet. Uh, you know, obviously when you're at the shore, they talk about, uh, you know, things that impact the shore. But in general, it's the economy that people care about. And they, don't, they just don't see Washington or Congress addressing the concerns of the middle class. And Congressman, do you see a role for Democrats to play here uh, in what is a, a GOP race, uh, a family matter for a speaker? Do you put anything in this talk of a coalition? I mean, I certainly would like to see a coalition only because I believe that we need to work on a bipartisan basis. And I would love to see, you know, either Republican speaker or some kind of coalition speaker uh, that would work with Democrats and to try to get things done. But I just find it hard to believe that, uh, you know, that the Republican Party, which is, com you know, so dominated now by the right wing, would ever, you know, seek to elect a speaker that would you know, work with the Democrats. I mean, I would like to think that maybe there's an opportunity for it. I certainly would support, you know, some kind of a coalition uh, a government, you know, that would elect a speaker that would work on a bipartisan basis. But it's hard for me be to believe that with the right wing sort of controlling what's going on now in the Republican Party that that would happen, but certainly would be a good thing. I got to say, listening to you and Chris Matthews, the question occurs, how are you guys ever going to pass anything ever again? Well, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate because, to be honest, in the first part of this year, we actually did uh, do a lot of legislation on a bipartisan basis. You know, a lot of it, some of it came out of the committee. I'm the ranking member of the Energy and Commerce Committee. But now that, you know, that sort of effort to move in a bipartisan fashion has clearly fallen apart. And, you know, I really blame the, the, the right wing and the Republican Party. I, not all Republicans are like that, but, you know, this sort of Tea Party element, I call it, seems to be calling the shots right now, and that's very unfortunate. Congressman Frank Pallone, a veteran Democrat from the Jersey Shore, uh, for the other party's view of all of this today. Congressman, thank you for your time and for being with us. Thank you, Brian.